All right, new page of notes here. That was atomic mass. Now let's introduce something called the mole. Anytime I introduce the mole, I also like to bring up kind of the everyday kitchen term, dozen. We know that if you have a dozen eggs or a dozen slices of bread, that's 12, right? Well, the mole is kind of the same idea. Now the mole, funny enough, is abbreviated MOL, which is just one letter short of the full word, but it's abbreviated MOL, mole, not to be confused with molecules. It's abbreviated MOL, and one mole of any substance contains exactly 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd items of that substance, okay? As an example, a dozen eggs is 12 eggs. If I have one mole of eggs, I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd eggs. Another example, if I have one mole of iron atoms, I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd iron atoms. If I have one mole of bananas, you guessed it, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd bananas, okay? One mole of water molecules, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. So in the first example there of this particular one, iron, those are atoms. Second, the third example, water, those were molecules. So Avogadro's number we often see in front of words like atoms or molecules. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, as I just mentioned, is called Avogadro's number. And it's an important number to remember. Most of you will find that you don't have too much difficulty remembering that number. For some reason, it just sticks in our brain. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, so let's, we're at the top of a new page of notes here. Remember, we're just kind of building the foundations before we can start to do these four practice problems that are coming up in this video on the early types of stoichiometric, stoichiometric calculations. Now here it says the mass of one mole of an element on the periodic table is equal to its atomic mass or its AMU. So for carbon, right, the average atomic mass for carbon is 12.01 AMU. Well, that's equal to the mass in grams, 12.01 carbon grams divided by one mole of carbon. In other words, the shortcut is this. If you see something that says 12.01 AMU or for nitrogen 14.01 AMU, you can replace the AMU with grams per mole. It's much more useful. Rarely do you see AMU except for when we first introduced this stuff. So we're gonna go with grams per mole from now on, okay? Here's our first of four examples to round off this video. Example, find the mass in grams of a sample of six iron atoms. Well, start with what you're given and put it over one. Okay, when in doubt, start with what you're given and put it over one. Also, when you're in doubt, go to moles. Kind of moles is kind of the epicenter. From moles, you can go to grams. Okay, from moles, you can go to molecules or atoms. Six Fe atoms over one. Well, we have to get out of atoms and into moles. So down on the bottom, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd iron atoms for every one mole of Fe. Now I'm in moles of iron. Well, for every one mole of Fe on the periodic table, it weighs 55.85 grams of Fe. You notice I include all the units. I'm not leaving any units out. I'm not just writing numbers as fractions. Very important because I need to follow the units. So the end up with six times 10 to the minus 22nd grams of Fe. Example number two of four for this video. Top of the page, example, find both the number of moles of atoms and the actual number of atoms in the 10.0 gram sample of aluminum, okay? Well, I see that we only have one number in this problem, so I'm gonna hone in on that number, 10.0 grams, AL, put it over one. I need to go from grams to moles. 
So if I have grams in the numerator, right, then I'm going to divide by the atomic mass. 26.98 grams aluminum on the bottom for every one mole of aluminum. Cancel grams of aluminum, and you're left with the only, the only units left are moles of aluminum. We started with three sig figs. Our answer is three sig figs, 0.371 moles AL. Okay? All right, well, now that I'm in moles of aluminum, I could have gone in one step to atoms, but I'm going to start from the beginning again. So 10.0 grams of aluminum over 1 divided by 26.98 grams of aluminum with one mole of aluminum on top. That gets me into moles of aluminum. For every one mole of aluminum on the bottom, I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. My answer, 3 sig figs, 2.23 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. Follow the units, right? The units are more important than the numbers. Example. Third example. A silicon chip has a mass of 5.68 milligrams. How many atoms are present? Start with what you're given, put it over one. In this case, we're given milligrams. I've got to get out of milligrams. So I do a thousand milligrams on the bottom, one gram of silicon on top. That gets me out of milligrams and into grams. Now that I'm in grams, I want to go to moles. I use the periodic table, follow the units. I want to cancel grams. So 28.09 grams of silicons on the bottom, one mole of silicon on top. Now I'm in moles, one step left. For every one mole of silicon atoms on the bottom in the denominator, my numerator is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, 1.22 times 10 to the 20 atoms of silicon. See how I'm just following the units? The previous, the previous numerator is now going to be the units for my denominator. And then I cancel. The last numerator in that left to right movement is my unit. Last example of this first video from section three. Calculate the number of moles and the mass of a sample of cobalt containing 5.00 times 10 to the 20th atoms. Well, we start with what we're given. We'll put it over one. So my very first term is going to be 5.00 times 10 to the 20 atoms CO. Don't forget to write CO, little o, right? It's not carbon monoxide. It's cobalt. Got to get out of atoms and into moles. Why did I say moles instead of grams? Moles is the place to go. Moles is the epicenter. It's the hub. Always go to moles if you can. For every 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of cobalt in the denominator, that's equal to one mole of cobalt. So I divide, and you should practice that to make sure you can do your division correctly on this. And I get 8.30 times 10 to the minus fourth moles of cobalt. Okay? Now, 5.00 times 10 to the 20th atoms of cobalt, and then I say, but wait. That's because I'm trying to save myself some work. I could have rewritten that expression on top and then continued with it, but I trust my answer is 8.30 times 10 to the minus fourth moles. Moles is a good place to start, so I just have to multiply by my atomic mass of cobalt, 0 0.0489 grams of cobalt. Started with three significant figures, I end up with three significant figures, 0 0.0489 grams. That first zero is a leading zero, right? 0 0.0489 is three sig figs. Okay, in the next video, we're going to introduce molar mass, which is kind of, it's just like atomic mass, but you add up all the individual atoms of a molecule or a compound. Okay, after we introduce molar mass, we're going to start to work more with stoichiometry. Stoichiometry, one of the most important topics in the first semester of general chem. Stick around, video number two from section three is coming up next.